Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is the GPD Micro PC, and as promised, it is running Linux. This is Fedora 30. Uh, it is running the KDE desktop environment. Generally speaking, I usually use Ubuntu with XFCE as my preferred desktop environment, but I'm just kind of trying things out. I haven't tried out uh, KDE in quite a long time, and I do rather enjoy Fedora 30. Uh, the good news is that all of the patches to get Linux running on the GPD Micro C are now upstream, and we can take a look at the most important one that Hans de Gode, DG Ode. Uh, I apologize, I'm most likely brutalizing your name. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Hans, who works with Red Hat, um, has very quickly created this patch for the i915, the Gemini Lake SOC on this, specifically with communicating with this display panel, this very specific display panel. And he did it in such a way that it is um, not targeted for uh, GPD micro PC. Specifically, it would it kind of will, it now has a, a greater threshold, not something very specific with trying to have a very specific bit rate that it's determining to try to find. Now it has a, a bit of 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 give on either end, which allows us to now have hardware acceleration going throughout. So the GPU is now driving the display versus the CPU driving before. And if anyone uh, remembers uh, my previous video when I had uh, everything like from the frame, bro uh, frame buffer console uh, working that is was all with a setting called no mode set um, and that's basically disabling hardware acceleration disabling the GPU acceleration what you're going to want to do whenever you're installing Linux until 5.2 RC5 becomes standard or things get backported uh, what you're going to want to do is when you install any type of Linux, do it in a safe, uh, safe, safe graphics mode, uh, and that'll get you up, up installed. You're going to be in portrait mode until you get to the latest uh, kernel, which is 5.2 RC5. Um, for those that have been following my Discord, I had applied these patches directly myself and recompiled the kernel myself. Uh, thankfully, no one has to do any of that stuff. It's just going to be super easy for you now. You literally just update your kernel, and uh, you're off to the races. The other good bit that it, I like about Linux is that the message drivers, Vulkan tends to be, uh, the Vulkan, Vulkan instance, the Vulkan API tends to be better on Linux rather than Windows, uh, the Windows Intel drivers. So if we go ahead and take a look at Terminal, uh, I have gotten the latest Vulkan drivers installed here from Meso. We have 1.1.97 that is on here. Additionally, I've compiled the latest version of Dolphin and while I do have some good news, let me not do the Dolphin browser of KDE, but rather Dolphin as in Dolphin. Alrighty, so uh, I don't need to do it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just load up Metroid Prime. And one thing that's pretty nice about Metroid Prime is that uh, I've already run a, a video previously with the Intel version uh, Intel, the Windows version, so we got had an idea of what it runs. Again, because the TDP of the N4100 is at the BIOS level, there's nothing that needs to be done in Linux at all. It'll just run at 10 watt TDP. And it's pretty impressive when we take a look at this because the N4100 is technically an atom core. We're just pushing it to the limit. We have a bunch of power going to the CPU and GPU. Uh, additionally, not that button. Additionally, we are running only single channel memory. The micro PC doesn't use dual channel, uh, even when it has gone to eight gigabytes that everyone is getting now. Uh, also, um, tracking numbers starting to go out, so that's pretty exciting. Happy for you guys that there's some track, you know, movement on there. I know that people were getting a little uh, anxious to get their micro PCs. Uh, the good news is, is that it's rather serendipitous that the time that everyone is getting their micro PC is the same time that those patches went live. So uh, when you are ready to get it, that you'll just be able to use it. Um, the one thing that I do want to point out is that the Vulkan instance for that we're looking at right now, if you compared it to the DX12 instance of running on Windows, while our frame rate is kind of a jittering and it's not locked 60, it is far smoother than the frame rate uh, belies. So let me just go here. That. Good. We always get like little blips and stuff whenever we, especially we go into morph ball. But it, it's handling alarmingly well. 
Now that is the screen was like going to sleep there. Now that is say it's not all rosy. Not that one. I wanted to blast them with my missiles. Pshum. Um, I wanted to take a look at uh, Mario Shunstein as well, and that is not running well, which is kind of surprising and a little upsetting. So I don't think you're going to have perfect results with this, and it could just be that I have the the version of Dolphin, the dev build that I've compiled, uh, producing these errors. Uh, but Mario Sunshine runs like junk, and um, I haven't run. I haven't run on Windows, but I have to hesitate that it doesn't run this bad. Uh, and it could just be that the latest version of, again, the latest version of Dolphin that I compiled is causing these issues, but this is pretty bad. So it's not gonna be a slam dunk for everything. We'll go ahead and cancel that. Uh, this particular look at Linux on the micro PC was just to kind of take a look at uh, well, pretty much getting hardware acceleration on the display driver running. This is running fine. For those of people that like running Linux, uh, it works perfect now on the GPU Micro PC. Uh, I will try to get a more thorough review on uh, Linux working on the Micro PC, but for the most part, everything is everything is here. So, you know, volume works if you go ahead and where is my, there it is. This is brightness. You know, brightness can go down. And we'll go back up. So all these all these functions that are very laptop esque are working. Uh, if we go to battery, you can see that all this looks good. Time to empty. Uh, model shows unknown battery, but um, everything is everything is working as it should. This isn't alarming. I've been using this for a while now, so uh, it is in line with everything that it should be. Uh, let's see. Uh, sleep mode. Does look like it's it went to sleep, so let's open it back up. Woke up just fine. Uh, let me put my password real quick. There we go, and that's that. So uh, that was just a very brief thing, but um, for the most part, everything works as you should expect it to. Um, this iPega thing that I connected to it, it works over Bluetooth. That connected just fine and works just fine. Uh, largely, everything works just fine. Um, I haven't really had any showstoppers at the moment. Um, that's it. So this is the GPD Micro PC. Linux is finally working on it. So huzzah. And everyone is now receiving their GPD Micro PC just in time for the Pocket 2 Max to start coming out. Should hopefully have that soon, and um, probably by tomorrow I'll start doing, I'll at least have an unboxing for the Pocket 2 Max. Um, that's it. As always, thank you so much for your time, and thanks for watching.